G'day YouTube, what is going on? Today I'm going to be doing a quick unboxing and initial thoughts on the Kolaris XT11 GT, which is a 2000 lumens, uh, so pretty high powered little torch. Just straight up, we'll have a quick look at the specs here. So as you can see, turbo is your 2000, and then you drop down to a high at 400, medium at 100, and low at 10. And you've got a 50 minute run time at 2000, which is pretty high uh, for the size of the torch and for what I want to be doing. So the purpose of this torch for me is that it is going to be in my center console in the car. So the purpose being that it's a quick and easy accessible torch from my vehicle. And I've also picked it particularly for one that has uses as a self-defense torch. So that's why I've got the really high lumens so that it can be a very blinding light. And I also picked it because as you'll see, it's got a tail switch where you're going straight to that turbo mode uh, for a situation where you want to blind someone and get out of there. So let's open up and see what's in it. All right, so we'll start with the accessories. Got a pouch, belt loop, to hold it in. Quite a thick material there. And we've got something inside here. Ah, the charging dock. That's another thing I wanted with this torch, is the ability to charge it. Obviously, if it's staying in my car, I can charge it right there in the car where I'm keeping it. I don't have to worry about getting fresh batteries all the time. And then there's also a little lanyard here. Short little wrist lanyard with the branding on it. Uh, probably won't use that myself, but always good to have the options. All right, torch itself. So, fits quite nicely in the hand. It's got the side button here. And then you've also got this tail switch where you see you've got this button here, which you can set up to go straight to the turbo mode when you press that in. And then you've also got your main tail button there. Little uh, belt clip or pocket clip. And it's also uh, got this, and I forget the word for it, it's gone out of my head, but also just a good option for if it drops, you're not dropping straight on the glass. And uh, also as a self-defense thing, just a little bit sharper there. But really the plan is that I would hold it uh, like so where I'm holding the tail switch and you'd still be punching with your fist and then turning the light to blind them in between. So it sits quite comfortably in the hand for doing that. It's got a bit of texturing here, a bit of grip, which is always good. And there's our charging dock there. Yeah, so quite a nice little torch there. Certainly a very snug fit going into there. I don't think it would fall out even if you had that open. Tight fit. Uh, a little bit stiff to get in and out, but I guess that'll probably stretch out a bit with time if you were using that. Yeah, so I'm pretty happy with that. I'll probably go ahead and charge it up and I'll finish this video uh, having a bit of a shine and play with it. And uh, yeah, we'll have a look at the brightness and play around with a few of the settings. So it turns out all I had to do was remove the tab from the battery in the torch and it's already charged out of the box, which is an extra bonus there. So yeah, this torch actually has some quite complex settings and it can be a bit confusing to set up, but once you set it, it um, has some easy functions. So really you can have it set as an outdoor or a tactical, which really just means that the tail switch here is going to uh, put it onto different settings. So at the moment in the tactical mode, it's going straight to strobe, which is what I'm probably going to leave it set as. And then your button at the front here, it's going to put it on high, sorry, turbo, high, medium, and low. 
Now obviously my camera is automatically adjusting to the light so you can't truly tell how bright it is there and then it's holding down to turn it off. But I can tell you right now I shined it in my eyes on the turbo mode to see how good it was at blinding. Definitely worked, I couldn't stare into the light and for a few minutes afterwards I was still seeing the dots in my eyes and they were feeling quite sore. So it's definitely going to do that self-defense job that I want. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy with it. I'm really happy with the size. It's not too small, but it's not too big. And it's all ready to go. Just an, as an added option, Clara sells these filters. So I bought one of these. Just gives you more versatility and options. To be honest, uh, on the website, it made it look like it was sort of more of a a stick that came out like a, so you could control traffic, for example, if you were to come across an accident at night, uh, which it still potentially can. So that just clips straight on the end of the torch there. And then you now have a red light torch. So yeah, I obviously love versatility and the torch itself doesn't have a red setting, but just like that, I've got that extra option.